Chainlink versus Quant. You guys have been asking for it. I'm here to deliver on Blockchain Crusader, crusading through these blockchains every single day. So we're going to be covering the pros and cons of both Chainlink versus Quant and which one would I prefer, right, personal opinion here, would hold over one or the other. Would I hold Chainlink or rather I hold Quant? Full disclosure, I hold both. But if I had to pick one, I'm going to be telling you here which one I would be picking. So make sure you smash those likes, hit that subscribe, join the Crusader Army, join the link down below, my private telegram, and let's jump right into it, guys. But first, guys, 81% of you guys are watching these videos are not hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you fix that. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Now let's get back to it. Chainlink. Let's look at this tokenomics here, right? So Chainlink is at a market cap of $7.6 billion. 58% of circulating supply is out. Total supply being 1 billion tokens, max supply being the same, 58% of that is already out. So where could we be headed with Chainlink in the long term? Now let's go take a look at Quant price action, right? Oh, quickly, before, all-time high price for Chainlink last bull market was around $52, give or take. It says 40 here, but if you look up to the right side, right above my head, it's 52 and some change. Now let's jump on over to Quant. Quant is sitting at $103 today. $101.30. Total market cap is $1.2 billion. 81% of circulating supply is out. And you can see here, total supply is only $14 million. Very intriguing, right? A lot of people are attracted to Quant because of its low supply, you know, higher price action. So it's tokenomics. You could be call them pumponomics because there's such a so low supply. Now, let's jump into actually what does quant do versus what does Chainlink do right quant we all know is the interoperability layer trying to make all these cryptos work together it has a SaaS model incentive to be able to use quant and build interoperability with quant as a service right well Chainlink is known always as an oracle right bringing data from the web 2 world into the blockchain but Chainlink has evolved past that as well. But we'll circle back to that ev evolution. Let's go back here to Quant. If we go to Quant website, right, interoperability, ease of use, security. But its main thing is interoperability, trying to get these blockchains to work together. And this is where I believe Chainlink can overdo Quant. Quant has very good marketing. It's part of the ISO 200 narrative, very bullish in that sector, right? And I hold a piece of quant, like I said, right? I hold a, port of, a portion of it in my portfolio, but here comes here comes Chainlink. What is Chainlink, right? Chainlink is tokenomics are not so great, very inflationary, uh, very you know uh, selling pressure here in the past for Chainlink. But now with CCIP's upgrade, look how many things Chainlink can do outside of just what it was normally doing, bringing data from Web2 as an oracle to the blockchain transfer of tokens right can icp enables users to programmatically transfer tokens from one blockchain to another via lock mint or burn and mint mechanisms along the arbitrary data commands you know gaming allows interoperability between web3 across multiple different blockchains web3 usernames right like that dot eth and all these dot names out there right interoperability between those protocols enabling users to register on chain names on one chain and propagate these names across other blockchains even DeFi enables DeFi applications to use tokens on one chain as collateral for DeFi applications on a different chain liquidation protection right another thing that's good so a lot of stuff is happening here for Chainlink another thing that Chainlink right economic advancements is like I was saying before there was a lot of selling pressure from Chainlink but now Chainlink has staking you can stake your Chainlink and a lot of people are staking the Chainlink, and Chainlink's price has been performing pretty well. If you look back over here, right, in the last month alone, Chainlink is currently down 29% with the market being pulled back. But overall, in the last years, up 61%, came as high as $21 before coming back down to $12, $13 right now. Quant has been performing very well as well in the last month, also down 20% just because the entire market has been down in the last month. But over the year, it's still down 13% in the year. It hasn't done too well, right? It had a short run here up to $148. Then it dipped back to 105, came back to 140 again, and now we're back at the low 100s. Kind of been pretty stable on its price action, but not a lot been happening, not a lot of marketing for Quant. So if I had to pick one, between what interoperability Quant is trying to achieve, which I still think Quant can perform very well, right? 
I just believe Chainlink brings a lot more to the table with the staking, with the CCIP upgrade. Even though the tokenomics for Chainlink have not been great in the past, the technology advancement for Chainlink right now, I believe surpasses what Quant itself is trying to do, just interoperability. Chainlink is doing so much more. So if I would have to pick one or the other, remember, I hold both in my portfolio, but if I had to pick one or the other, I would pick Chainlink as my long-term hold. I think Chainlink can get close to 100 bucks this time around with the staking, with the interoperability with CCIP, with all those things that Chainlink is doing, being the biggest Oracle out there. The fact that it's getting into the interoperability se sector is going to probably trump Quant's interoperability adoption so far. So for me, Chainlink versus Quant. I will pick Chainlink, guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Do you agree with this? Do you not agree with this? Would you pick Quant? And if you do, let me know in the comments why you would pick Quant over Chainlink. If you agree with Chainlink, let me know as well down below in the comments. Smash that like. Hit that subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Blockchain Crusader. Crusading through these blockchains. Until next time, see ya. <laughs>